Hello from the book Quester, this is I, Aaron the Book Quester. Today I'll introduce you to this almighty book, Wish by Barbara O'Connor. And here is the whole thing of the book. With a little luck, you can get what you wish for. Not a very cool quote, but still a very meaningful one, especially to this book. This book is the story of Charlie Reese, a girl who has been, who has been shunned by her mother. Her mother <clears throat> has a little mental problem ish, ish attitude toward toward the responsibility of a parent, and she doesn't care what Charlie does or even if she goes to school. And so the social services came right in, and they whisked Charlie away. Uh, to a more stable family environment, and she is sent to to her mom's to her mom's um sister, her her aunt whose name is Bertha, and and her uncle Bertha's husband by that Gus, and they are super nice people, and but at first she doesn't realize that she's too busy making her wish. She had made the same wish for every single day since since a very long since a few years ago, and but it still didn't hadn't came true. But she still wished every chance she got, and she had made she had almost she had I guess memorized a whole list of things that she could wish for. For example, um, if you say the same thing at the same time. With, with with a person, you can you, those two people can both make a wish, or or if she found a penny on the ground, she could throw it as far as she could and she would make a wish. And if she saw a white horse, she would make a wish. And if she saw a black horse, she would shake her fist at it three times and then make a wish, which is kind of weird if you ask me. And she thought it was weird too, but she did it anyway. And、um, yeah. It's it's quite interesting to read, mind you. I mean, come on, what kind of person、um, wishes on a black horse by shaking your fist at it three times? That's just very interesting. And there's much more ways to wish on, but I haven't memorized it like Charlie Reese. So, pretty much, that's the only things、um, I totally remember. And yeah. And and Charlie has moved to this to this new town, which doesn't even have a Chinese restaurant that is, that is very run down. And she thought it was sorry looking, but she but at but at that time she didn't know it was very filled with life. And she was she went to school, and she's not very popular. Because also she's a new kid, and also because you know she wears these silly boots. And she has quite a temper inherited from either her mother, or her her father, and her father, by the way, is in jail because he he loves to get into fights and for no apparent reason, and he's been getting corrected. And she is very 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 um. Very bitter. There's a always a slight bit of tangy bitterness in her her dialogues and every page until like the last first the last quarter of this book, and and she has she meets a very good friend named Howard, and he devises a way to simmer. Down her her temp her giant temper by saying pineapple, and at first it doesn't seem to work, and but she says it anyway, and sometimes it worked, and that was rather miracle ish, and yep, and yep, um Howard, as you as everyone can agree, if you read this book, is a very good friend. And he he's the only friend actually that Charlie Reese makes, and he helps her at everything she wants to do, and he even devices devices a trap that he thought up to catch the stray dog that Charlie wanted to have, named Wishbone, 
and when when she got wishbone, her her bitterness was a bit washed away because she was very happy with her very own dog who slept on her bed, and it was all very great. And then, and then she she was starting to realize that that number one, she 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 was having a very good time here, in Colby. And it was much more better than in Raleigh. And then she she was like um, and then she realized that her that her wish came true as soon as as soon as everyone was like you can go home now, and she was almost ready to go home to her mama. And yeah, and that was very sad because she had finally realized her wish. Her wish that she wanted a、uh, not a whole normal family, not a broken up one, and yep, that was her wish. Kind of makes you feel silly that you wish for new toys every what two days, and、mm-mm. so so and then and then she she was supposed to move back, but but Bertha managed to convince the social services that. That Carla, as I、uh, as I mean Charlie's mother, isn't ready, and so the book ends with a happy Charlie reads Wishbone and her normal good family that she had always wanted, and it's a very good wishing book, and like always, a book wishter, Erin the book wishter. Maybe I'll make a wish today too.